rank correlation spearman's rank correlation coefficient problem calculate spearman's rank correlation coefficient for the following data and comment on your results given marks in accountancy and marks in economics let's now proceed with the solution observe the given data here we are given marks and not ranks note that two students have scored 70 marks in accountancy similarly three students have scored 60 marks and under two students have scored 90 marks in economics therefore this is a problem under equal or tied ranks the formula is given by rows equal to 1 minus of 6 into summation d square plus m1 cube minus m1 divided by 12 plus m2 cube minus m2 by 12 plus etc plus m n cube minus m n by 12 whole divided by n into n square minus 1 here d is equal to r1 minus r2 where r1 denotes ranks of x series r2 denotes ranks of y series m denotes number of occurrences of equal ranks and n denotes number of observations let's now proceed with the tabulation denoting the marks in accountancy by the variable x write all its values then write the ranks of x denoted by r1 let's now rank these values the highest value is 98 therefore it is ranked 1 the next mark is 97 which is ranked 2 the next mark is 96 which takes the rank 3 next is 92 which takes the rank 4 and 84 takes the rank 5 next highest value is 70 which occurs two times that is the mark 70 occurs two times therefore whenever we have same values we have to find the average of the ranks that is when some values are same they are assigned the average of the ranks that these values have obtained if both of them being slightly different from each other 
Let's now look at the procedure. Under the variable ex, we know that this mark 70 occurs two times. That is, it occupies the 6th rank position as well as 7th rank position. Therefore, we have to find the average of these two ranks given by 6 plus 7 by 2 which is 13 by 2 will give you 6.5. Therefore, this mark 70 is assigned the rank 6.5. 70 takes their rank 6.5. The next mark is 61 which is rank 8. Note that we have already used the rank 6 and 7. Therefore, the mark 61 takes the rank 8. Finally, 50 is ranked 9. Now, M value. We know that 70 occurs 2 times. Therefore, it is assigned the rank 6.5. That is, this rank 6.5 occurs 2 times. Therefore, Let's write this as, denote this as M1 and its value is 2. That is, M1 is equal to 2. The next step is to write the marks in economics by the variable Y and find its rank denoted by R2. Let's now rank these values. The highest mark is 97 which is ranked 1. Next is 92 which is ranked 2. Next mark is 90. We see that 90 which occurs 2 times. That is under the variable y the mark 90 occurs 2 times. Therefore we find the average of these two ranks. 90 occupies the rank of 3 as well as 4. Therefore, finding the average of these two ranks, we get 3 plus 4 by 2, which is 7 by 2, will give you 3.5. That is, 90 takes the rank 3.5. 3.5 and 3.5. The next mark is 88. It takes the rank Five. Note that we have already used the ranks 3 and 4. Therefore, the mark 88 will take the rank 5. The next value is 60 which occurs 3 times. The mark 60 occurs 3 times. That is, it occupies the position of 6th rank, 7th rank and 8th rank. Therefore, we have to find the average of these three ranks given by 6 plus 7 plus 8 by 3, we get 21 by 3 which is 7. That is, the mark 60 takes the rank 7, 7, 7 and 7 and finally 55 is ranked 9. Let's now find out these M values. 90 occurs 2 times, therefore it is assigned the rank 3.5. It occurs 2 times, therefore let us denote it as M2, which is 2. And 60 is occurring 3 times and the rank 7 appears 3 times. Therefore, let us denote this as M3, which is 3 here. Now, let's proceed with the difference. D is equal to R1 minus R2 which is 9 minus 7 will give you 2. 6.5 minus 7, which is minus 0.5. 5 minus 1, 4. 3 minus 3.5, minus 0.5. 1 minus 5, which is minus 4. 8 minus 9, minus 1. 6.5 minus 2, which is 4.5. 2 minus 7 minus 5. 4 <clears throat> minus 
which is 0.5. Now get d square. <coughs> 2 square will give you 4 minus 0.5 square which is 0.25. 4 square is 16. Next will be 0.25. Next is 16. 1. 20.25, 25 and 0.25. Now, adding all these values, we get summation d square as 83. Let's now proceed with the calculation. Substituting all these values in the formula, we get rows equal to 1 minus 6 into summation d square. Summation d square is 83 here plus m1 cube minus m1 by 12. m1 is 2. Therefore, we get 2 cube minus 2 by 12 plus m2 cube minus m2 by 12. m2 is 2 again. Therefore, we get 2 cube minus 2 by 12. And we have m3 also. m3 value is 3. Therefore, we get 3 cube minus 3 by 12. Divided by n into n square minus 1. Here we have 9 observations, therefore we get n into 9 into 9 square minus 1. Simplifying, we get the row value as 0 0.2833. This implies that there exists low positive correlation between the given marks in accountancy and economics.